All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, MacGuffin, can't do that. Uh, Hazmat 3, can't do that. Military 3, can't do that. Uh, yep, can't, can't do any of that. So we could shunt, uh, or we got lots of mulas. No fees, lots of mulas. It's a good place to be. Yep. You guys asked for it. Everyone said, do the thing. Do the big stupid. Insurance copay plus 30,000. It was all a scam. <laughs> um, obviously, there is no DE6 here, and there are also no jobs we want to do here. Uh, so, what say you we go somewhere else, shall we? Maybe there's some boys. Let's go see if there's any boys. We like calling the Splody Boys. It's been too long. It's been far too long. And maybe there'll be a DE6. If there's not a DE6, we'll have to, we'll have to go somewhere else. You know, honestly, there, there's going to be boys. Is there going to be a DE6? That is the question. Look, look at all these Explody Boys. Look, it's beautiful. Of course, it's a diesel hydraulic. Okay. <clears throat> uh, onward. Tally ho. Um, hmm, 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 harbor, good call, machine factory, uh, we haven't run out of machine factory in a while, let's go check that out. Alright, we are at factory that make a machine. I am the machine. Uh, deliver new cars. A brand new car. Tractors. Shunt that, I can't do that. It's all shunting. Oops, all shunting. Two halls, and they're both kind of boring. You know what? But we should have known. <laughs> There's no reason to ever not go out of the harbor. <laughs> Where do all the jobs originate? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to do an intro. What's up, guys? This is Heiss. Today we're playing Dural Valley. It's career time. Hardcore career. Uh... And we've just, we're not in debt, but we've just run out of money because we've got the DE6. I guess we should go check. It's very likely that one has spawned in the roundhouse. But you never know. And there's going to be a, some kind of job we can run here. I guess we could check the military jobs, too. Although we just did that run last time, and it wasn't that exciting. Nor did it pay that much. Really not worth it, is it? We kind of... A DE2, we've got an 082, no, an 084? No, just an 082, an 082 steam engine. <laughs> What's the point? Diesel hydraulic, hey, there we go. And a DE6, okay, so we do have one. Uh, yeah, let's go see what jobs we got and uh, see what we can what we can do here on the big choo-choo. First time over the road with uh, the E6 and simulator, at least in career. Obviously, we've messed around with it on live streams and such in sandbox, but we haven't gotten to actually play with it in career yet because uh, I hadn't unlocked it yet. But now I have. Oh, good God! Who piles these paperwork's like they're heists? This harbor office. I should see my desk. Freight hall. Just got my oh, that's. That's some heavy tonnage, that could be fun. Show off the uh, the capabilities of the DE6. Cryo oxygen. Oh, that's spicy, literally. Nitrogen. Okay. Acetylene. Okay, we have goods factory, food factory, food factory. Those are stupid jobs. That goods factory. Oh, both of that, that other goods factory is gas. It's not that bad. Another food factory. A lot, a lot of jobs at the food factory. I'm not gonna pay that well. And uh, you know, we want to save up money to blow up more things. You know, see how it is? Uh, no, no, that one. Uh, steel won't. That that's heavy, but it's really not. <laughs> it's not that much money. But it's also not that much of a run. Uh, and then that's enough. God, four jobs at the food factory. If we had a bunch of DE6s, we could start slapping them all together, but um, I'm kind of leaning towards. It's not a lot of tonnage. It'd be like, what? Math. 
math tonnage. Be 510 tons to do these two jobs. Oh, but that has three. Can we do has three? Do we have that license? I don't think I have that license. No, we can't do that. So, can't do that. Uh, so, we could do the cryo oxygen to the machine factory. 330 tons. And steel, 986 tons. Um, hmm. How much. How much tonnage is the DE6 good for? I don't remember! Um, I think because they changed a lot of stuff with Simulator. Stand by! Alright, people on the internet say that apparently the DE6 is good for 1,400 tons, although that may not be up a hill. And this would be... <laughs> like, 1,300 tons! So, you know, it's fine. And we could, we could go in... Drop the uh, drop the stuff at the steel mill back out and then and then go. So we want to have this job on front and then this job on back. We could try it, and then worst case we have to grab a DE2 to EMU with us or something. The saddest, dumbest little train. All right, let's go figure out where these jobs are in the rain, um, and then we will go couple to them. I hope they're all in the E yard. He says. I see some gons there. It's probably scrap, and then they might be all there. Let's see, what do we have? The 81 is the one we want in front, and then the 04 is the one we want in back. There's the 04. Okay, cool. Easy. And then... 81's right there. You know, I wish it was always that simple. I wish it was always like, one on that track, one on that track. Call it a day. Kapow. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna line a switch here. Just like that. And we're gonna line that switch. Dunk. I don't have a remote for it, but lining the switch is my hand it just feels correct. And those are lined all the way to the right, all the way down. Okay, so we'll only have to throw the one switch to pick up the next load. Uh, as we couple to these cars in the fog. Oh boy. <laughs> Nothing has ever gone wrong coupling into hazmat in the fog. Actually, that's, that's a true statement. Not on my career save. We actually haven't had that problem. It's the sound that I imagine he makes as he like lunges forward teleporting. Wee! Tunk. Hello, old friend. It's been a minute. Oh god, this has got a really weird step set up. Oh, we've noticed that before. Alright, so we open the battery box, which is on the wrong side of the cab. This is over here, actually. It's fine. Oh my god, that's right. <laughs> Electrics, starter, and then the traction motors are the knife switch. No, that's the battery knife switch for all of that's That's the electrics switch. Um, and then the traction motors uh, would be a separate cutout, actually, up here on the enunciator panel, which isn't modeled. But that's uh, nerdy details that are unimportant for DRL Valley. Okay. And now we go out, and then we go to this car door car body door. Let's see if she'll start. Come on. There we go. To, to a locomotive that is backwards. The, 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 this part of the engine and everything should be over there. It's okay. <laughs> if you watched my recent video about the, the tunnel motor we have at the museum, it's um, not, not super similar to the DE6, but it is kind of similar. It, I mean, they're both EMDs. This is obviously an export. Oh god, that's that's where the, the brake handle starts there? Oh jeez, okay. Oh, and where's the handbrake on this? Normally it'd be right there. Uh, okay, it's there. Well then, okay. <laughs> yeah, they're both EMDs, so very, very similar overall. Um, Obviously, this is an exported locomotive. 
and the tunnel motor is not an export locomotive. It's a made in the U.S. for the U.S. kind of locomotive. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I didn't have enough air yet, apparently. No, I got plenty of air. Oh, okay. Just too spicy. All right. Page up. That, that, that's the best quality of life keybind, I swear to god. I don't remember who told me that, but uh, it was one of you commenters. Thank you so much. Lay claim to your victory in the comments and you can pin it. Shut up, you. It's wet. Come on. Okay. Uh, actually, we're going to want the lights like that. Lights like that. There we go. Yeah, this control stand is pretty much the same as the tunnel motor's control stand. And then the prime mover and everything is going to be basically the same. Uh, I don't know if it's a 567 or a 645 in this locomotive compared to the tunnel motor, um, but um, they're, they're, they're the same block and they have the same support systems by and large. So it'd be very similar. So the engine is in fact backwards uh, in this locomotive, but it's fine. Oh god, we're lined into the military base, aren't we? It's fine. Okay, yeah, we ran out of the harbor the other way for the first time in a century. Shut up! Relax. Alright, so we'll get that switch line for now. So we're lined out the proper way. And uh, now we just go say hi to that uh, those floaty boys. You really can't see anything going this way around it, can you? It accelerates quickly as a light engine. <laughs> Love the western font on this skin. And the ESD and ESDT and SDNS skins are such a treasure. <laughs> you love to see it. All right, our explodey boys are back there somewhere. Probably want to pinch down a little air before we get flying into the uh, switches here. Pinch it down to vague semblance of track speed. And then uh, we're gonna turn the corner and see that the cars are parked hellaciously close to us and freak out. Or not, cool. We're not gonna dunk him at 20 though, that's for sure. Sneak up on the cars. They, they frighten easily, especially when they've got placards on them. You don't want to frighten them. As the TE6 stalks its prey, the splody boy. Right, that's plenty of speed. That is plenty of stopped, which we don't want. Just let it roll. This is gonna be too soft of a dunk. I'm gonna get bored. Come here. Come here. I want to put something on your hook. I swear to God, if it just like stops. I tried to be gentle. I tried to be too gentle. Yeah, that's gonna stop. Thanks, DE6. Well, that was cool. It just did a neat thing that we're gonna have to talk about. One secundo. Let's get this train charged. Is there air? You don't know. All right, please be this brake. Really? Really? Gonna make me walk this whole cut. Ugh. Angry conductor in the rain. <laughs> All right, brakes off. And now we'll take this whole mess ahead of the switch, and then uh, then do the thing. Okay, so I'm gonna shut this. I want you to listen very closely. they didn't have any sounds for the reverser. 
But what I did notice is we're in idle right now. And if we load it up to one, you hear the contactor pick up and it's got a delay and then it starts loading. Because this is your load meter right here, how many amps you're actually uh, putting on the traction motors from the alternator. So I shut off, you hear the contactor drop out in the high voltage room behind us. And if I pull it out, nothing, nothing. You hear the click and then you start loading. That's a pretty significant delay. The EMDs are uh, actually really quick, but that's a neat uh, that's a neat bit of sim. That, and that, that's what happens when you go idle to applying some amount of load, then the rest of it is uh, just based on throttle notches, based on what the governor and uh, the throttle valves say to do. It's a pretty neat system. And it's kind of funny, the, uh, the antiquated throttle system with throttle valves still kind of exists uh, in every diesel at this point uh, because of multiple unit standards. The way that throttle works is on a normal engine we have eight notches in the throttle and they pick up a series of four different throttle valves they're called because they were originally called throttle valves because they were valves in the governor, uh, the mechanical governor, which this locomotive would have. And you have A, val a valve, B valve, C valve, D valve, and depending on which ones you pick up in which way, the engine will notch up in different combinations. So you always pick up two of them, depending on what notch you're in. And uh, that, that's, the, uh, that's the signal that actually gets trainlined via MU. The MU pots where the, uh, the cord plugs in is a 21 pin cable. And as such, like they didn't want to send eight throttle notches over it. So they said, okay, well, we'll just send what throttle valves to pick up over it. So it doesn't say, hey, I'm in this notch. It says, no, I have these throttle valves open. And even to this day, the locomotives that are entirely electronically managed with electronic fuel injection and all that jazz, uh, that is how they do it. It's kind of neat. I need to go by the lost and found and find my lanterns. Um, do, do we want to put it? I guess we'll put it on this side. And somebody noted that my, my, lan my other lanterns are too dim, but I guess that one's all the way up. It's neat that they modeled the wicks in those. It's fun. All right. Let's give this thing a shove. Dunk. All right. Reverse the throne. Yeah, that that's that's kind of goofily cursed. The, the automatic brake being like that, and it doesn't have the D10 model, which is kind of whatever. I've n n literally never seen that gotten correct. Except in Century Stamp, but, you know, I digress. Um, all the way to the left would be released. All the way up against that detent right there would be released. And then there'd be more detents for minimum application and then your application zone, because this is a self-lapping air brake. Then you'd have uh, suppression and handle off and then emergency. Actually, you, you wouldn't have handle off on this because it's not modeled. The cutout in the, uh, the brake valve is not there. Which, again, uh, these are the super nerdy details. DRL Valley gets the, the, the gameplay side of the sim really, really well. And they've truly figured out the balance between sim and game, in my mind. So I might agonize over the nittiest of grittiest little details, but that's kind of who I am. <laughs> I used to review signal designs, you know, for years. Uh tracing every piece of logic and every circuit, so uh, detail-oriented when it comes to reviewing things. There goes the lantern. Okay, and don't, uh, wait, 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 dump. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh god, we're sliding wheels. I should have waited longer. <laughs> we almost ran over my lantern. Okay. And this is not a railroad lantern, but that's okay. Not a switchman's lantern, at least. Maybe it could be some flavor of railroad lantern, but anyway. Air's recovering. Start loading this thing in reverse a little bit. Just get a little speed. It's probably all the speed we need. They've already made the hook. Quote unquote, the hook. He says, 
running back to have to manually make the hook because I don't have knuckle couplers. Although apparently Zybox knuckles are back uh, as a mod. Uh, 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 uh. Drake? Where's the air hoses? What? 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 Oh. Okay. They're back. That was an interesting one. Uh, not sure what happened there. zybox has been tuning into these. I don't know if that's a bug for you to look at or not, but, uh, <laughs> that was a little goofy. I wonder if I hit it too hard and it broke things? Maybe. I don't know. More, more handbrakes in inconvenient places. All right, uh, I'm gonna start this thing loading lightly because it's a heavy train now. And then I'm gonna go turn in the jobs and then try and get on while it's moving. Because we only have 50 minutes to get to the steel mill and this is a heavy cut of cars. So we're just gonna have to see. Sounds like the air is still charging as well. Let's see, get this thing to load up a little bit. Can you abide by notch two? Looks like we no longer need wipers. Can you abide by notch three? Nope. All right, we'll just leave it in two then. Because the station's right over here and we don't want it to go too far off to the races without us turning these jobs in. <coughs> It's a job. Uh, steel mill. I'll turn that one in a second. A little extra bonus time. Okay, there we go. And there it goes. The red and white ESD diesel. Yeah. Yeah. You love to see it. Okay. Uh, oh, God. It's got, it's got a nice sounding bell. still that's fine all right sand and beans would you like those beans sanded would you like those traction motors roasted yes I would well, that was fast now the interesting thing is that it starts to roast the motors at 600 because um, I was noticing when I was doing the tunnel motor video and showing the tunnel motor off that um, it, it's an SD40T-2, right? Um, it's got like a continuous load limit rating of like 1100 or 1200 amps. And then it has times for how long you can run it at like up to 1400 amps. And I wanna say you could pull 1400 amps for like 15 minutes and it was fine. It's like, holy crap, this gauge barely even gets up that high, you know? Oh, it just went into transition. Oh, that was so cool! What? They, wh why'd they bother to model that? You guys! Oh, that okay? That's that's a nerdy detail. Um, we'll 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 talk about it once we get up the hill, because we need we need the beans for the hill here. Uh, so I'm not gonna slow this train down for nothing, not for any nerdery. Um. Yeah, because this this is going to be the climb. And do we have enough cars behind us? No. Actually, we should do that math. Um, yeah. Uh, transition is where the traction motors go from... Oh, goodness. Jog's memory. They either start in parallel and then they transition to series, or they start in series and then they transition to parallel. Uh, it's been a long time, and it happens at like 20 miles an hour-ish. And it's just for better usage of the current and wear on the motors, not PNG. Uh, I never really learned the electrical side of the locomotives at the railroad. And I remember hearing about that, but it, it dropped the load for a second and then it came back up. Um, I don't know if you actually register that during transition or not. Uh, quite like that. I don't know if that happens. It probably should, but it, maybe it happens really quick. I don't know. Either way. Very neat. 
Very nerdy detail. Let me get another notch. Sand, yep. Oh god, I can have it wide open right now. God, this is so much nicer than DE2. We are getting close to the spicy zone, but it's maintaining on the hill. Ish. Alright, so we... Oh yeah, see there it just went under went, underwent transition again. But we're already up to the first flat spot here. Back off on the throttle a little bit. A lot of bit. Let's see if I can get away without sand. Oh, no. Just keep the sand on. Got it. Yeah, I'm sure one of you in the comments will know the details of EMD's uh, traction motor transition better than myself, so uh, please provide context. Yeah, we gotta let these mo these motors are are roasting the garlic really well right now. We don't like that. Oh, we should have brought a DE2 with us. He said, laughing. 1,400 tons is a lot. If you just cool off and then we can grab another notch. So we have 330 tons, 986 tons. So that's basically 1,300 tons, a little more than 1,300 tons. And that, God, that is 17 cars of scrap and then 10 cars of splody boys. Try and grab a notch. It's really heating up. We might have to run it right up to 120. Come on, train! <laughs> Sand gauge. For gameplay, it makes sense. We're kind of, well, we're slowing down a little bit, but we're doing a north of 20 kilometer an hour. We're, so, we're slowing down and the traction motors are heating up. This is a bad combo. I'm gonna let him cool down a little bit. See if that can help at all. Or is that just gonna park the bus too hard? That bit of grade up ahead is less. It's a half percent. So if we can get to that, we'll be all right. All right, I'm gonna notch it way up now. Maybe not that way up. That's a very, that's a very fast heat gauge. Well, that was fun. What fun while it lasted. I thought I saw a flash. It wasn't an arc flash of a traction motor welding garlic across the uh, the commutator, was it? <laughs> About to be. Yeah, scrap's heavy. And now we're far enough up the hill that it would be a bit of a bummer to go back to the harbor to get another engine. Because we are. We just crossed that bridge there. So we're like, the top of the hill is up here. So we are halfway up this climb, basically. Something about halfway there and prayers or something. And a man with very, very, very poofy blonde hair. I guess we turn off our rear lights now. Leave it like that. Can we turn off the sand? Can. All right. Let's save the save the resources we can. God, this is one locomotive pulling all this. It's a lot of tonnage. It's pretty solid. Thirteen hundred tons out the harbor. It's pretty good. It's going to the C4 inbound. It's a splody boy going to C4. You love to see it. And then these are going to the B3 inbound. Okay, 
Okay, so we'll run through the B3. Let's see. We're not we're not stalling, so we'll just uh No, we're actually cooling off significantly and we're accelerating. Oh thank god. You love to see it. Grab a notch here. And now we'll talk plans. So we're coming through this alignment right now. I'm gonna go left to the switch. We do 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 go down the, the high speed line there. Blitz to the sawmill or the steel mill of the other SM. And we're gonna go into the B3I and cut those cars off, then back the train out, past the Y again, and then zip that way, and then just blitz all the way to the machine factory. That's gonna be pretty high speed once we're down, because this is gonna be down to 330 tons, so we'll be able to get cooking with this thing. And I've been told that the DE6 is actually really fast now. Um, it apparently rivals the steam engine for speed, so we will be able to give it the beans, which y you love to see. You truly love to see it. As soon as we're done with this heavy tonnage ridiculous haul of ridiculousness. Yes. Yink. Burn it down. It's fine. I'll be fine. It's just a lot, so much train back there. Look at all of it. And how long is it? How, mu how much? I mean, we know it's we know it's 27 cars, but how much train is it in meters? 180 meters for that chunk, and then 220. Okay, so we're doing like yeah, 400 meter long train basically. Grab another throttle notch. Yes, we can. All right. Okay, there's the four. We're almost gonna be doing 40 when we get there, so. You love to see it. We we'll, we might be able to get the, uh, the time bonus on this. I bet we can. It's pretty high flying, fast running coming up, so. Got one last chunk of stiff grade, 1.2. Oh, there we went. We underwent transition at whatever, 35 kilometers an hour, ish. 30, 30, uh, eh, 36, 37, whatever that translates to in miles an hour. Let me grab my phone, do that math real quick. 37 kilometers an hour to miles an hour. 23 miles an hour. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Super neat. It's super neat. Alright. Grabbing another notch because I can. Into the tunnel we go. And just kind of maintaining speed ish. Losing a little speed. Most of the train's on that hill now. But we get out of the tunnel and then it's uh, then it's pretty much smooth sailing because the tunnel is right here. This is the high speed fly-in, so we'll see, see just how quick we can get this much tonnage rolling. And then we'll have to see if the, the dynamics are worth anything on this thing. Because Lord knows I put the diesel hydraulic in dynamics and then proceeded to blow it up instantaneously, so. Why not repeat it with the DE6? It seems like good business to me. It's just good business. All right. Look at all those trees. Speed, speed, and power. I'm gonna try and grab one more. Oh, that's wide open. We are officially giving it the beans. Notch eight, don't be late. Here we go. And it's not insta frying the traction motors, so we're just gonna leave it in eight. Notch eight, don't be late. It's not pulling out any amps. <laughs> the attack says we're doing a thousand RPM, which is. Um, that's a little high for an EMD. The GEs, like the uh, the Dash 9, I want to say, 
max throttle at 10 or 1,000 or 1,050 RPM, if my memory serves right. 7 FDL diesel engine. Um, and then the EMDs were usually around 900. Depending on which governor they had, it might be 900 or 902 or 904 RPM. But for all intents and purposes, about 900. It underwent transition again? I don't know what that's about then. Maybe it's not transition. I don't know what it did then. Is that, that, that doesn't calculate, like I don't, I don't know. I dealt with these things mechanically. I didn't, uh, <laughs> I never got to take an EMD up over the road at speed. So I never got to see that stuff happen and watch the gauges and all that. I think that's my one regret from the railroad is that some people got to go on track tests and go for rides and whatever, uh, and I never got to. Because I've never been in the cab of something going really, really fast. <laughs> and by really, really fast, I mean like more than 30. Hell, more than 25. It's fine. Speed limit says 12. It's not very fast. Oh, we're working on it. It's it's a diesel. Uh, the throttle's wide open, and we're we're just leaving it wide open, and just gonna we're just gonna sit here and watch the track. Steam engine's so much more engaging. The E6 is great for big heavy hauls, and when you got a lot of stuff to run. And I'm really excited to try it with the slug. Maybe we'll do that next time. Uh, but yeah, this is really like you you, you just you put it in eight. And now, and now we watch the track. Ah, tree! Ow! <laughs> Someone to call MOW. And then you see a speed sign that's finally slower than what you're doing, but just barely. So just keep the hammer on for now. Then you see another speed sign that's slower, and you shut all the way off and squeeze a little air on. Actually, I don't have to squeeze a little air on. I could have squeezed some dinos on. Okay, that's gonna be enough of a reduction. Although that's a six. All right, so let's squeeze some dyna dynamics on and see what happens. I'll just go full dinos and watch something explode. Oh, it doesn't care. It is not like the diesel hydraulic at all. You just put it in full dinos and it just did not give two craps. It only does minus 300 amps. That's not accurate. You can pull so many more amps in dynamic braking. It's, it's absurd. It doesn't seem to hurt anything. Well, that's just too easy. We're doing our 60 now. Just cooking. Easy money, man. It's a good engine. Like, DE6 is the heavy haul champion. Although the steam engine might be better, but I don't know. It's certainly harder, that's for sure. More engaging. And you get to blow a whistle instead of this thing. Get 60, got 80. I'm just gonna let it coast. Just let it cook. Let it do the thing. We're set for switch on the remote so that when we get to the steel mill, yeah, which what track are we going to again? Three? Yeah, B3 and then the C4 for this one, because boom. Kaboom. At the MF. Yes. Alright, there's a six. Alright, so we can just slam it in full dinos. And it literally just does not even care. It's just enough to hold back most of the train. And then we can always blend brake and add a little air in too. But I see no reason to do that right now. Oh, uh, 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 switch, switch! Woo! I got a six followed by an eight. Like, <laughs> literally, 
You it, can you blow it up with the dinos? Is that a spoiler for when I blow it up with the dinos later? Maybe at slow speeds? I don't know. Are there, there's not even resistor grids on this model, I don't think, unless they're hidden somewhere hot, unusual because it's an export engine. Oh god, we need to be slower than this. We need to be slower than this. We need to be slower than this. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Three, right there. Don't mind me going through the switches at 50. Where are the resistor grids, he says, panicking as the train blitzes through. All right, that's great speed, so we'll just do that. We'll just hop out on top of the train real quick. Just run across the top of the cars, as they did in the old days when we died like men. Uh, and we close the angle cock there. How close is that? Okay, that's all on the track. No, break, pop, uncouple, uncouple, go away. Okay, that looks like it's gonna stop. Yep, perfect. And then we'll wait till we get a little further with this guy. And now we dump this one. And that'll stop somewhere. I gotta go tie a brake on this. Tie that. All right, turn in the first job. Scrap. Look at that. Look at that. Well done. Well done. 50 Gs, man. Easy money. Easy money. Line that switch, and then we are lined straight down the main. Close the cock. And then we go up to the head end, and then we just uh, put it in eight, don't be late. Um, and uh, hopefully don't blow up the engine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, reverse, sand, give it sand, beans, beans. That was a very easy way to heat things up very quickly. It's like, whoop. So it'll let you pull 1500 amps, but not for long. And now we're wide open in eight. I just underwent eight, uh, some transition. I know, maybe these export engines had like multi-transition or something. Probably don't need the sand anymore. And now we just blitz up around the Y. And it's on to the machine factory. And now we get to see what this thing is uh, good for as far as speed goes. So we've got Pretty fat, flat, fast running. Couple little squiggles of death through there, and then super fast running up to the machine factory. Shouldn't take us that much more. There's probably a slower speed limit than 70 up ahead, so I'm gonna just shut down and hope I don't hear the spicy sounds. I think there's a six through the junction. And we're doing 70s, so that's fine. It's fine. The speed limit is less than what we're doing. That's fine. It'll be fine. Just put put the bell on for safety. That was a 50, allegedly. Oh, that, those are the those are the points that we need. All right. Well, we just absolutely sent that way too fast. Just plug it real quick. That ought to stop it, nice and easy. Notch 8, don't be late. Sand. Give it sand! Notch 8, don't be late. Ever seen a dial move that fast? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Atta baby. Player <laughs> like tonnage. You just put it in eight and then pray you don't fry the traction motors first. 
Okay, we got a 50 through there, and we are already doing 50 because we have too much acceleration. This is a mistake to let me run this. Put it in the little dinos. 3.3% grade. Put it in a lot of dinos. I don't want to dump cryo oxygen all over the fields outside of the steel mill. <laughs> it's fine. All right, kick the dinos off. Uh, maybe don't kick them all the way off. Skirt round the bend here. And we got a 90. All right. Notch 8, don't be late! Woo! 90 for what? Two feet? And then it's a 60? That's annoying. This is a 60? This is like, I guess it's a pretty shoddy track, but fine. We will just let it coast. 70 through 60 seems to be fine. Particularly from my races with Khan, it seems like you can reliably go 10 over any speed limit they give you. Although that we're doing 20 over that one, so we'll just uh, grab some dinos for this kink right here. Yoink! Yeah, who who lined this track? I want I want I want their head. <laughs> Off with the heads! Put them in the Iron Maiden. Excellent! You execute them! Bogus. <laughs> it's time for more movie quotes with ice. It's fine. Alright, well now we just leave it in eight. Because we're not going to be late. We can, we're, we're running through the farm right now, so right here. We can just pretty much blitz it to that curve. So that's what we're going to do. Unless we get scared. So we are doing 80. Although the speed says 90. So we got places to be, man. Machine factory is still like all the way over there. Come on, train! I believe in a thing called train! Alright, are we lined through? Looks like we're lined through. Yes, left, right, left. Going fast enough that the boys are spawning in slowly. Howdy, boys. These are the true boys. Cryo-oxygen's not really a splody boy. But honorary. Honorary uh, hazmat. As we blitz through at 100. That's probably plenty. Yeah, that's a 7. That's a 7. That's a 7. We're gonna blend break. Oh, it was mad about that. Is it just wheel- like- all of the wheel slip indicator. It's fine. <laughs> it's like, whoa! What is the speed doing? It's fine. It looked like one of gauge, one of the gauges out of Unstoppable or something, just bouncing all over the place like mad. Yeah, we probably broke traction. But yeah, this thing slows down pretty quick. Oh God, don't put me down there. No one needs to see that. Oh, this feels fast. I think we missed a speed board. Okay, to the right is three. So, yep, there we go. Once again. The dynamics are so strong on this thing. It's awesome. They really, uh, they really brought out the modern railroad thing of like, oh yeah, don't use air, just use dinos. It's a big contention of uh, senior engineers and uh, younger engineers, a lot of guys uh, are only taught to run with dinos and they're scared of the automatic brake valve. Obviously they're taught how to use it and everything, but uh, dinos are the, the favored thing for sure. All right, that's like, God, that's just a kink. That is a train set curve. I don't want to be late. It's the almost, almost the end of day shift. The sun is setting. Maybe it's winter time in the valley. Most of our trains probably through that king. So I'm gonna rip it. Notch eight, don't be late. Will we make it before night falls entirely? That's the question. I wonder if they serve any good beer at Machine Factory. Right, there's 50. We got another 50 right here, so we'll just let it coast. 
coming up on the the second junction now. Which I want to say has another bit of a squiggle to it. No, it's a six to the right. Okay. It's the squiggle is to the left. And then we're probably lined into all kinds of sadness at City Southwest, which is just uh, off of our uh, point here. So, gotta be vigilant with our comms radio at the ready. It says we could be doing 60, but the, the curve through City Southwest is pretty gnarly. Just across the bridge here. Let's see. Yeah, we are lined to the left, which we don't want to be. We line to the right. We want to do 50, and we want to be lined to the right again. And there's the three. Okay. Let's put it in full binos. Yeah, God, that's so strong. I'm skirt round it. It's fine. Good God. Skirt! And once we get the last cars kind of through there. Almost there. And you know what I, you know what they say kids. Nache, don't be late! Cheese the scroll wheel. <laughs> I wanted to grab it and Fling it, and then it only went to like notch seven. Actually, I think there's 11 notches on the diesels in this game. It's fine. These ones go to 11. At least on the DE2, I think there's 11. I'm not sure about the DE6, I haven't bothered to count. But notch eight, don't be late, rhymes, so I'm gonna continue saying it. <laughs> MOW needs to clear that tree branch. That speed board said go fast, but I wanna know how fast? Yep. And so now uh, we're once again to the territory of high speed, just leave it in eight and uh, twiddle your thumbs. Uh, twiddling the thumbs real fast. Just like a train. Twelve. 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 Rats cannot throw up. Every time. Every time the number twelve gets said. Frickin' fact core from Portal 2 jumps into my brain. Lives there rent free, apparently. <laughs> Dad, are you space? Yes. Now we're a family again. Alright, that's an 80. Guess we'll shut down. We can put it in dynamics. Like, instantaneously get there. Now we got a 60. Better be lined to the left. Should be. Should be. Can't see the switch. It is, in fact, lined to the left. And we can do 70 to the left, like that. That's a 70 through that curve? Good heavens. Just a yoink. Alright, so that was that switch already. So then we've got another junction going the other way. And then, oh god, what yard are we going to? C4. I don't know where the C yard is in the machine factory off the top of my head. The MF. Alright, it is. Oh, it's the. It's not the passenger yard, it's the, the one there. Oh, they're right next to each other. That's right. That's a 60. Shut down, let the grade bite us a little bit. So we're still working uphill. And we should be lying to the right because there's like almost no reason to go to the left ever. Because it just bypasses the machine factory. And we're lying to the right. Could be doing 60, and we're not. And then we've got just high speed across the uh, big bridge across the top here. And then the machine factory is right there. So, uh, darkness have fallen, and the moon is rising. Uh, so we, we're not gonna beat the, uh, the end of the day here. And I'm not sure if it's stars in the sky or dust on me monitor. I'm pretty sure it's dust on me monitor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely is. It's fine. 
And there is the 60. Alright. So we'll shut back. Oh, it's a pretty steep grade, so we'll let it run a little bit. Sand field. We haven't used a ton of uh, resources on this thing. We could go quite a bit further than what we have. It's good to see. You love to see it. Alright. Show me the switch. There's line to the right. Yeah, because that's, uh, that's where we would come out of, naturally. Just put her in dinos. Bloink. All right, and the next switch we want lined to the left. Pretty sure. Okay, that's too much dinos. Just let it roll. Let it roll, baby, roll. Okay. Uh, oh god, C4, C4, where's C4? Uh, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Oh, it's all the way over to the right. It only does one, two, three, four. Well, that's easy enough then. Well, we'll just let this thing coast. let it coast and wait for the last of the train to get in on the track here. And then, uh, and then we'll dump the air and tie a brake and go turn the job in. That's a cool little town. All right. Coming in, coming in, coming in. Consider your air dump. Oh. Did we overshoot that? Totally overshot that. This is not a long siding. Well, we'll just melt this handbrake. It's fine. It's only one brake, and we got a DE6. There's no way we haven't made the time bonus. It's like 100 minutes or some ridiculous thing. All right. Shove back. Notch eight. Don't be late. Oh, does this thing actually have a wheel slip relay? Okay, no, it doesn't. It will just let you burn it down. Cool. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That looks overshot on that side now. Jesus, Ice, come on. I'm gonna let the air recover. Maybe Notch 8, don't, don't be late, doesn't apply in switching maneuvers. A little bit more. Oh God, I'm just bleeding through the independent too. All right, that's probably good enough. And look, the station office right there. All right, let's see. What she got, what she got. Yeah, 36 minutes, that's it. 107 big smackaroons. You'd love to see that. And all we have is a fee for the locomotive. We just gotta go service it. Yeah, that's killer. Dude, DE6 is dope. Big tonnage costs a lot, right? If you're running big trains, that's, uh, that's pretty hard to beat. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch y'all next time. We'll service this guy next time. Got places to be! Bye!